What's up, guys? I got with a gun from Abominable Gaming, and today I got with me Zach uh, from the Three Amigos. So, Zach, I hear you got a really cool channel going on, and you know I love being a part of it. So, I mean, how do you feel about it? Uh, I feel really good. I mean, like the pace my channel is growing at, uh, I think I'll have like maybe 500 subs by the end of the year. Um, but yeah, other, other than that, I, I'm enjoying it, uh, doing it as a hobby, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, great, great. So, with us, we got, uh, like, a good gameplay in the back from Modern Warfare 3, it looks like. And this is my gameplay, it's his gameplay. So, you want to tell us what the gameplay is about? Uh, yeah, it's a uh, PP90 M1, really close to an MOAB, but sadly, uh, it doesn't work out. You'll see kind of towards the end-ish middle of the gameplay. But uh, it's with the sound surfs and the mags, and uh, my primary perks are Slate of Hand, Assassin, and Syra Pro, just for sound horn. Good stuff. Uh, what's the score at the end? Uh, my final score, I believe, is 35 and 2. Yeah, 35 and 2. Hmm. Pretty sure. Pretty legit score, I do say so myself. Uh, I guess. Right. It just goes a little slow, but whatever. We'll speed it up, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, so um, my first question is, you know, how did you get to YouTube? Uh, well, I mean, the reason why I wanted to start it all was because I was watching a commentary uh, from Fearcrats, and he was talking about uh, why he actually got into YouTube and why he wanted to start it. Uh, and I was thinking to myself, you know, it kind of can't be that hard, uh, you know, doing it. And I thought I could, like, show some of like, my gameplay, and I thought most people would enjoy it. But when it all started, I really didn't know that you needed, like, an HD PVR and all that. I thought that, like, they did something. I don't even know, but I, when I started, I started using a camera for, like, my first, uh, like, 100 and, like, <laughs> like, 180 videos. And, uh, man, I... Oh my god, it was horrible quality, I mean. But I have a PVR now, I had it for about a week and a half, and uh, I'm really satisfied with it all in it right now. And there's actually me and one other person and you now on my channel that are, that are posting. Yeah, it's always good to have your channel grow with people that support you all the way, man. Yeah, thank you, appreciate that. Yeah, so we got... A good nine minutes to spare on this, so I got a couple more questions for you. It's fine, go ahead. How did how did like the story of how we met? How did it go? Um, well, I actually think it was um Venom Visions or Jordan who actually um saw my zombie strategy for Ascension. No, uh, no, not Ascension. Sorry, it was. I think it was Darius. Yeah. Yeah, Darius, and uh, I, I'm doing like a huge zombie strategy thing with like every single map, and uh, he saw me and he's like, dude, you know, I really, I, w I was enjoying watching your zombie strategy, and uh, just go ahead and add me on PSN because I want to play some zombies with you and a couple other of my friends. So I said, sure, okay, and uh, then I actually found out that Venom was a clan, and then I met you guys, and uh, I started getting more interactive with uh, everyone and on your guys' Venom Bloodstream channel. And uh, on your abominable games, and uh, I, you know, I was really happy, and uh, I asked to join, and I did a tryout, and uh, here I am right now. Hmm. How'd you feel being the new guy? Uh, uh, I mean, I felt like not. I don't want to say awkward because I kind of like blended in and got along with everyone. But I mean, it was different. Uh, you know, just meeting everyone that was actually in the clan itself. But uh, right now, you know, everyone's cool. Uh, I basically know everyone. Like, I'm not too. I'm not too sure right now still on how many people are in Venom. I think it's like a really decent amount. I mean, I think maybe like around twenty or thirty people. But yeah, I'm starting to get to know everyone, and I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a pleasurable experience. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think of the clan itself right now? Uh, I think. Like, the pace that it's been going at, I mean, Jordan got, like, I want to say around 50 subs in a day. And, I mean, if he keeps this up, I think at the end of the year, you guys are going to have, like, a thousand plus subs. And then I think the channel is going to be growing, like, a substantially high amount uh, afterwards. I mean, uh, we have, uh, not we, well, the people in Venom are going to get a team Taj coming out, I think, at the end or in the middle of the summer, I'm not sure. Um, but I think everyone still is sending their clips to Jordan. But we have a Team Ties trailer up if you guys want to go check that out. I mean, I, it's really enjoyable. I think you guys will enjoy it. Yeah. 
Jordan made it himself. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah. So, I was, well, for, I know why your channel is called what your channel is called, The Three Amigops, but, you know, my viewers on this channel have no idea why, so, you know, mind explaining to me? Um, yeah, it actually kind of started when, uh, my friend Alan, uh, I've been friends with him literally since, uh, preschool, um, he was at my house, and, uh, the same day I, I talked about, or the same, uh, story I talked about, about watching Fear Crads and his commentary about YouTube and everything, uh, I, you know, I said to myself, you know, I could probably do this, like I said, it shouldn't be that hard, and then I actually talked to Alan, he's like, you know, Alan, uh, I'm like, you should, you, I think you, we could try this out, I mean, it couldn't be that hard. And he's like, at first he was like kind of skeptical on it, like not sure if he could like stay committed or if he would enjoy it or not. But uh, after after a little while he started doing it, and uh, he does Minecraft by the way, and I do some Minecraft, uh, but mainly what I focus on is COD uh, only. But uh, yeah, he started doing that, he actually started getting really into the hang of it, uh, he started enjoying himself, and uh, it was him, and then uh, I also asked my little brother if he wanted to go and also do some Minecraft because he's also pretty handy with that. And he could like hand out some tips and uh, any other type of uh, I don't know uh, basics, I guess you can say, to other players. And he said yes. Yeah. So, and I really didn't know what else to call it. I mean, looking at it right now, I think it was kind of corny. Like I could have like made a better name, but I mean, I don't think I don't think anyone uh, has told me in the comments or anything that. They really mind the name, but I mean, I could have made it better. I personally think it's it's like a trademark for you guys, because <laughs> that's how you guys started, and I hope that's got how you guys finish when YouTube finally does finish. Thank you, appreciate that. Um, we got a couple more minutes, so I guess I can ask you a couple of questions on what kind of games you play. I know you said you specifically focus on COD, but you know, back in the day, what kind of games did you play, and what kind of games would you want in the future? Well, I mean, if you want to go like really into depth, uh, when I was like like smaller, <laughs> smaller, I used to play like mainly Pokemon and Naruto. Um, like I still have those games for the PS3. Like I used to really enjoy those. And uh, how I got into COD was actually my little brother Jacob. Uh, he got Black Ops. Before that, he had World at War, and I never really paid attention, but in Black Ops, it looked kind of fun, so I tried it out, and uh, I got into the hang of things, like, really, really well, and really swiftly, and I just started playing it, I started enjoying myself, and then afterwards, I bought Mario for 2, and I really enjoyed that, so I bought COD 4, and uh, that was the best game I ever played. I, yeah, you know, but that was basically a Pokemon, Naruto, and uh, some basketball and football, but just mainly COD. Yeah, if you haven't played Pokemon as a kid, you have no childhood. I'm sorry to tell you this. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah, so we're coming up on like the eight minute mark, so we have a good minute to talk, so I guess we can start wrapping things up. So this has been a P90 gameplay, almost a mod. Sadly, some guy just kills him through his, what's it called? Ballistic vest with a 1095, yeah. yeah. Sadly. I was ah, those Tech 95s, hey, man. Of it, I haven't gotten a Moab since seventh prestige, and I don't know what it is, man. I don't know if it's that uh, I become too cocky. Like I'm not really cocky, but I don't know if it's because I'm tenth prestige that I really don't care anymore because I don't I'm really not gonna prestige again. But I haven't gotten a Moab since seventh prestige, and I thought like after I got this one, like if if and when I did, I could like start getting them easily over and over again. But I guess not. <laughs> yeah, man. I felt the same way. So the gameplay finished, 200 and 119, they won. Uh, this guy getting with a, oh, look at that hard scope. Oh, <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> anyway, well, I appreciate having you.